Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. What operating system is running on your phone? Is it the iPhone operating system? Is it Windows Mobile, Palm OS, Symbian, maybe something entirely different? At some point in the future, it may be Google's mobile operating system, dubbed Android. And I've got an Android emulator sitting behind me. Do you want to play with the Android emulator? Well, the problem is, is that it's not going to cost you anything to download and try. It's open source, and it's only available, this a Android emulator, uh, if you're running Windows, Mac OS X, or Linux. So you may not fit into the, of course you fit into one of those categories, if not all of them. You can download and try this. It actually comes wrapped in the SDK, which is available at code.google.com slash Android. Now, those of you who really don't know what an SDK is, uh, we've talked about it before in light terms. It's a package of tools and examples given to software developers so that they can develop for these various platforms, this one being Android. And in this SDK comes an emulator in the tools directory. So I've installed it. There was really nothing to install. I just double clicked it. It had everything it needed. And up pops this fully interactive Android virtual device. Of course, this is much bigger because I've zoomed in on my screen so you can kind of see what's going on. Now, normally this would be a touch screen device, but since I can't actually, I can touch my monitor, but then I get peanut butter smears all over it, so I got to use my mouse to pretend it's my finger. Uh, now, on this emulator, not only does it have not a fully functioning dialer, but this is explaining uh, or showing you uh, exactly what the dialer is likely going to look like or how it's shaping up. And I got to tell you, the interface, for the most part, is clean. Where it gets a little more fun is when you open up the application Maps, and there's Google Maps. And if I want, uh, as it pulls in the information from the internet, as it normally would do you know, on the phone, it's pulling it in uh, by way of my regular old internet connection. I can zoom in or out. There, I zoomed way out so you could see what was going on menu. I can add different layers, so I can, they've got a satellite and a traffic mode, and then it apparently, ooh, yeah, there's satellite, wow. It came in fast, of course, because I've got a broadband connection, and of course I can move it around like I can on Google Maps. Imagine something like this on a phone, and that's exactly what Google's trying to do. I, I wouldn't say they're trying to unseat the iPhone. I don't know if a phone uh, running the Android operating system is going to compete directly with the iPhone, but they're certainly putting uh, all their bells and whistles in this thing. If you like Google, then likely you're going to want to own a Google phone. As I said, the UI is pretty clean, so let's zoom in here. Oh, that's, that's a little too close. Seeing if I can get into... It's, it's kind of counterintuitive because I want to... I, I wanna, touch and zoom, but I, I've got to press these buttons on the screen. I can get directions from their map application, but I'm not going to go that far. So let's go back to the menu, go home. Uh, there's some dev tools built in, some API demos, and that would be so that uh, people who want to develop applications for Android could, and they could test it on this emulator since there aren't really many devices running Android, if any, out there today. There's a web browser as well. So if you've ever wanted to see what your website might look like on a mobile device, here's a quick way of pulling it up. Uh, let's see here. What can we look for? Let's look for uh, Ponzi. Pulls up a Google search. Now, the, the Google search doesn't seem to be optimized for the mobile browser. I don't know if the agent hadn't been set. They also have the concept of bookmarks, windows, so it kind of be like a tabbed interface, history. Uh, they've also got more options that you can pull up, including zooming, which if you want to zoom in or out on a page. I don't know how intuitive that's going to be in the touch interface. That remains to be seen. But if you wanted to play around with Android or any Android apps or if you wanted to develop them, uh, really there's no other way uh, other than to download the Android emulator for free. Play with it and try it for yourself. And as it continues to evolve, most likely this will continue to be available and evolve over time since Google said, hey, it's an open project. Anybody can take the ball and run with it and develop for it. So all we need now is more open source hardware so we can really kind of get off the grid. Kind of. I don't think that's ever going to happen. Anyway, my email address is chris at perillo.com. If you're going to leave a comment, I'd be curious to know what phone or what mobile device you choose to use. Just kind of doing an informal survey uh, to everybody who's watching or, in, in, you know, following me in any capacity. I I'm curious. I mean, I'm, you know, using an iPhone at this point. Uh, will I use an Android system? Maybe. 
who knows? I got Windows Mobile devices over here. I don't think I have any Palm devices. There used to be a Palm emulator, and rumor has it that someone's developing a Palm emulator for the iPhone with the iPhone SDK. It's just so much fun to play with this kind of stuff. It's a virtual gadget. You know of any other virtual gadgets I can play with? My email address, again, chris at perillo.com. You're also welcome to join us in the chat room, which is uh, you know done in conjunction with this live video feed that's being broadcast out over the internet. You can't really pull me up on any mobile device yet. That technology doesn't exist, and I don't think the broadband even exists, at least here in America. Uh, we'll get there sooner or later. But until then, you're welcome to join me and the rest of my friends here 24 hours a day, seven days a week, typically talking tech at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.